Not even the lure of joining the three-time reigning premiers could prevent the Roosters from getting their man. David Fafita is heading to Sydney's East next season. Fafita knocking back a tempting offer from the Panthers to accept a deal with the Tricolours from 2025. David Fafita meeting his manager at a Gold Coast cafe this morning. It's where he made the decision to quit the Titans and become a free agent. He wasn't interested in talking. That was left to his coach. I guess it's disappointing, but it's also, you know, it's, it's part of the, uh, it's all part of the game. It's all, it's all part of the theatre. Don't try and tell Dez that Fafita is getting out because the Titans are struggling. I think that's unfair to say he's abandoning the ship. He's made a decision, so it's not about abandoning ships. Everybody knew what was on uh, on the table, so that's unfair to say that. Nine News revealed the Roosters play for Fafita, and now he's heading to Bondi. His new teammate, Victor Radley, was promoting next week's beer, footy and food festival at North Sydney. He'll be happy to have the Titans tear away in his team. He's a powerhouse, I'll take him. Victor knows firsthand how good Fafita is. He's got kind of good footwork and fend and stuff, so he's not someone which runs straight at you, you can try and flatten, so you've got to kind of have your wits about it with him, so I don't think anyone's going to really flog him. I think you're just doing your best not to get thrown off, really. He's that good, yeah? Or stepped, or stepped, or anything, yeah, he's just... He's got a lot more than just running. I'm all right if someone's running straight at me. I'm happy to step in. This big lad running straight at me. It's the footwork, the fend and everything with his power. Power is That's what makes it difficult. Off contract, Angus Crichton could have to make way for the new recruit, but Radley wants him to stay. He's really revived his career and his life in a lot of ways, hasn't he? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think we always knew he would, especially seeing how hard he was training in the pre-season. Um, the day I got back, he was that jacked and apparently he was just training all off season and he kind of had his mind set on what he wanted to do and he's doing it now, so it's good. Danny Weidler, Nine News. Tomorrow night is shaping as one of the biggest games of Dylan Brown's career, steering the Eels at halfback and captaining the side in the absence of Clint Gutherson. Coach Brad Arthur today beaming with pride as he recalled breaking the news to Brown over a family dinner. Clint Gutherson is the heart and soul of the Eels. They know he's a huge loss. Who fills that role in terms of being that one that inspires the team? It's the same bloke that does the same thing for us every week, Dylan Brown. Like, he's inspirational in terms of his effort and how he just competes. And that's why Brad Arthur promoted Brown to captain over an impromptu meal last night. I rang him yesterday to talk to him about it and I wanted to get him, I just got him around home so just call him for five minutes. Just sat there and by the time he left it was an hour and a half. I was wanting him to get get out of the house, I wanted to go to bed. <laughs> but um, just shows you what sort of person he's, you know, he's just sat there talking to Michelle about all sorts of things. Blaze Talungi will play fullback tomorrow. Arthur denying the team sensation is on the move. The only question you know that I've asked him is does he want to beat the club and he told me he does. So that's half the battle. And he wants to be here, you know, so it'll sort itself out. Arthur adamant club bosses are backing him, despite just three wins from their opening eight matches. I know I've got their support, and I 100% mean that, and I'm grateful for it because it allows me still to be able to coach and not coach scared. At the Bulldogs, Cam Serraldo is encouraging Reid Marnie to keep niggling the opposition, despite suggestions he's developing a reputation as a grub. I understand three, you know, third person running in, it can get a bit messy at times, but again, as a football team, you just want to be a team that sticks up for your mates and doesn't let someone walk all over you. And I've seen it in the past and I, won't, I don't want to see it again. Emma Lawrence, Nine News.